After that deadly collapse in Florida, Boston inspectional experts insist buildings in our city are safe, telling WBZ's Beth Germano that despite their age, buildings built on fill in the Back Bay are structurally sound. It was once a swamp, the Back Bay, getting its name from just that, eventually filled in over a period of years and supporting the city it is today. So we've done a lot of filling and we've put foundations through that to support the buildings adequately. A city largely built on pilings to get through that fill, which leads Wentworth engineering professor James Lembrex feeling confident that the tragic collapse in Surfside, Florida would likely not happen here. Foundations of buildings always have to go down below the back bay mud to a, f a firmer layer. And what those wooden pilings supporting Boston's many 18th century buildings need are groundwater to keep them saturated and prevent any rotting like this with exposure to the air. So this is a, a cover to a groundwater observation well. That's largely the job of Christian Simonelli with the Boston Groundwater Trust, monitoring 800 wells like this placed throughout the city for groundwater levels. While it's not yet determined what caused the Florida collapse, he has a theory. Anytime you see something like that sudden, it's definitely an indication that there was something with the foundation that contributed to that, you know, right away for it to be that rapid. According to Boston's facade ordinance, buildings at least 70 feet tall or at least five stories must be inspected every five years. In Florida, that requirement is every 40 years. We're looking for affidavits from structural engineers reporting exactly if they see any kind of conditions that have to be addressed within that, on that building itself. Commissioner Sean Lydon says many will be looking at Florida's tragedy and asking what if. It's an eye opener for people. Keep your eye out. Your eyes will tell you a lot and the sounds will tell you a lot. But experts believing Boston has a solid foundation. Beth Germano, WBZ News.